I've built over 100 websites on high level and today I'm going to show you how I built a beautiful website for my home services client. Even if you're not in home services or an agency service in this niche, I'm still going to break down some cool tricks and the psychology behind a successful GHL site so you can start building websites that not only look good but actually work. I recently worked with a client in the home services niche. He wanted to portray his business with his website in such a way that it would attract high clients. Now, when I was doing my research, I came across sites like this one and this one right here. For the purposes of this video, I'm talking about a different city and a different niche than my actual client. But at a first glance, when I scroll down here, you see that there's a lot of information presented in a way that is going to be a little bit overwhelming for the homeowner. And in this case, if you're claiming to be Arizona's top solar company, that means that of course you have the best service, the best reviews, but that also means that you have the best website. Now that you see the problems with some of the local business websites that you see out there, I wanted to show you my website website right here. We start with a very clear and easy to navigate nav bar right here. So we have a logo, different menu items, clear call to actions right here. What that looks like on high level in terms of the nav bar is we have a three column row, kind of like what you see right here. The first column, we have the nav bar. In the second column, we have a secondary button, which is to call. And in this case, of course, you could set up the voice AI on high level, but we also have this contact us, which is to get the information of the prospect directly. Here we have a pre headline saying exactly what we do and where we do it. So in this case, it's Arizona's most trusted residential solar company. After that, we have our main value prop. So the dream outcome or the main benefit is something that we want to make sure that we explain to our website visitors right away. So we have a one column row where we have the pre headline, we have the headline, the sub headline, and then we added a little bit of social proof. So we want to make sure that we portray ourselves as an established business having this social proof icon right here and a very clear button to get in touch. You may see some cool effects throughout this website and I'm going to break down some of those towards the end of the video. When I scroll down, you see that we have this cool section right here, why Phoenix homeowners are going solar and we present three different stats. So in this case, it's these ones in particular, but for your own business or for your own niche, there might be something else. Make it so we stand out and the prospect is more likely to take the next natural step. What this looks like on high level is first, we have this one column row with the headline and then we have three separate columns right here. If you take a look at this right here, I'm going to refresh so you see this again you see that these numbers go up so to do this i had to use some custom code and again i'm going to do this live towards the end of the video as well so now after this section we have a about us section so we show a little bit more as to who we are and what we do i noticed that most websites had sections like this which were very tech savvy boring not engaging and if a client is just scanning through the site to decide who to go with this is going to be a little bit too long so instead i wanted to provide something that is a little bit easier to consume very graphic and easy to understand. Instead of spending too much time talking about the exact service or the technicalities about how we go about it, we just focus about the dream outcome. So we help Phoenix homeowners save big on energy. Then you can add a little bit more explanation in a smaller paragraph like this, but we finish off with a clear outcome. So a high client satisfaction score. And again, more social proof right here with a clear call to action. The graphic here helps complement what we said right here. In your case, if it was a landscaping business, you could put somebody cutting a tree or a grass, or if it was a massage center, maybe somebody getting a treatment done. What this section looks like on high level is very simple. I start with a one color row where I added a headline. This font right here that I'm using is Bebas Noya. This is a two column row like you see right here. I added some padding here on the blue section or blue row, I mean, just so they would have some borders here on the side. Once I had my two columns. This one I left empty because I wanted to see the workers and this one I added a white background and you see that this has like some round corners and just click on a section column or row go to advanced and then make sure that you select full border and then for the border radius you can do like let's say 100 so you see how I have this huge corners right here. In my case I want to keep it so that it's 10. It really depends on the style of the site but in this case I wanted to do it like this. Now after this 
section, I wanted to show a section where I would very clearly outline the process. So in this case, it says Phoenix Solar guiding you every step of the way. And then I have four steps describing what working with us would look like. That way, the prospect has an idea. We want to make sure that we provide enough information on the website so that the prospect can take a decision, but not too much information to the point where they get overwhelmed and they just can't decide to take the next step. What this looks like on high level is we start with a two column row. And instead of making it so that it would be exactly the same width, I wanted to make this one a little bit bigger just to focus more attention on that one. So what you can do is click this right here and then move it and drag it just like this. So you see that first the prospect will focus the attention on this because the font is bigger and it takes more space. And then on this one right here, this is very straightforward, four columns, and we have a subheadline, a paragraph, and then we added this paragraph right here. After the four step process that you saw right here, I wanted to add more social proof. So here I started with a strong headline, over 200 happy homeowners and then I added a reviews widget. In this case, of course, is the reviews for my own web design agency. But what this looks like on high level is that this is a headline. Then we added a reviews widget. And of course, you can set that up on the reputation management tab. Let me go ahead and show you two effects that I added on this site. So the first effect that I wanted to show you is this cool button. So you see that when I hover over it, it has like a cool shine around it. So to do this, we're going to use some custom code, but don't worry, it's super simple. Let me go back to high level what you're going to do is click on this custom css right here and we're going to be using some custom code if you already have my notion doc i'm going to go to tutorial 1.9 right here if you don't you can check it out link in the description anyways i'm going to click on this 1.9 right here how to add cool hover effects to buttons and sections and i've added a new effect so i'm going to click on style number six right here what i'm going to do is go ahead and copy this code go back to high level and then paste the code right here so in this case just like this i'm going to go ahead and copy this right here Hit save and then what I'm going to do is click on the button, go to advanced and I'm going to go ahead and tag the button with that custom class. So in this case, it's button hover six. And again, in my notion doc, I have a bunch of other cool examples. Anyways, I'm going to click enter right here. And now you see that when I hover over that button, I've added that cool effect. So you can add these cool effects to your buttons to make it so that they're a little bit more interactive and incentivize user conversions. The second effect that I wanted to show you is this one right here. So you see how these counters go up as I scroll on that section. To do that, I'm going to go to this section right here. And let's pretend that on your section, you had something like this, 25 years of experience. First things first is you're going to click this right here, add a code block, and we're going to go ahead and delete this right here. Now what we're going to do is go back to the notion doc. And in this case, I've added a new tutorial, which is tutorial 2.9 right here. So how to create a smooth counter effect on scroll. I'm going to scroll down to step three right here. And I'm going to go ahead and copy this piece of code like you see me doing right here. I'm going to go back to high level, click on the code block right here, click on this button right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and paste this code right here. What I'm going to do now is that in this case, you see that the endpoint is 30. I want to make it so that it's 25 for the 25 years of experience. So I've changed that here. I'm going to hit save. And now what I'm going to do is hit save right here. And I'm going to preview to show you what this looks like. So let me preview this side again. So as I scroll down, these are the counters that we had before, of course. But at the end, you'll see that our new counter that we just created is working like we wanted. And we have the 25 years of experience. So that's like another cool effect that I added on this site. The last effect that you may have noticed is that the nav bar right here is transparent. And as I scroll down, it becomes white to blend in with the rest of the website. That's an effect that's also included on the Notion doc. So if you want to start adding these cool effects to all of your Go High Level websites, you can click the first link in the description and get access to the Notion doc. Now, if you're a GHL, SaaS, or AI agency, I made a cool video breaking down how I built a beautiful website for a GHL agency. So you can click the second link in the description and go watch that video as well.